In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on May 10, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Tampa Bay Rays vs. Baltimore Orioles The Tampa Bay Rays and the Baltimore Orioles are squaring off in the final game of a three-game American League East series on Wednesday evening inside of Oriole Park at Camden Yards. The Rays are atop the division with a 29-7 record so far and are sending right-hander Yanni Kyrinos to the mound and coming off a no decision against the New York Yankees, where he allowed three runs on three hits with four walks and zero strikeouts over a season-high 5.1 innings. The Orioles are second in the division with a 22-13 record and are having righty Dean Kremer start here and is coming off a win against the Atlanta Braves as he threw six innings with one run on six hits with a pair of walks and three strikeouts. The Rays sit with a 29-8 record overall and they had won two games in a row before losing on Tuesday. The Rays are averaging 6.21 runs while pitching is giving up 3.08 runs per game. The offense is ranked second while the pitching is first. Randy Arizona has hit nine home runs and driven in 30 RBIs. On the mound for the Rays will be Jalen Beeks who sits with a 1-2 record and an earned run average of 6.75. He has been used as an opener this season. The Orioles sit with a 23-13 record overall and they have a ton of confidence heading into this game. The pitching only gave up two runs and that was enough to secure the win. The Rays are averaging 6.22 runs while their pitching is giving up 3.08 runs per game. The Orioles need to run up the score here and put the pressure on the Rays to keep up. On the mound for the Orioles will be Dean Kremer who sits with a 3-1 record and an earned run average of 5.8. In his last start against the Braves he went 6 innings giving up 6 hits and 1 run. The Rays are 4-1 in their last 5 Wednesday games and 10-1 in their last 11 during Game 3 of a series. The Orioles are 5-1 in their last 6 during Game 3 of a series and 26-57 in their last 83 Wednesday games. The under is 5-2 in Orioles' last 7 home games. The Rays are 37-15 in the last 52 Two meetings. Looking at the ability to put the ball in the seats is critical as Tampa Bay is leading the sport with 74 homers as a team while Baltimore is tied for 10th with 42 home runs right now. Being able to avoid hitting into double plays is important as Tampa Bay is third in the sport with 18 double plays so far while Baltimore is 24th with 31 doubles plays right now. Tampa Bay is 37 to 15 in their last 52 games against Baltimore. The Baltimore Orioles and plus money is always worth a look given their offensive firepower but getting behind Dean Kremer isn't something I'm excited about. The Tampa Bay Rays are also still the best team in the league, and you don't get them at prices this cheap often these days. The Rays have lost back-to-back -back games just twice this season, so the Tampa Bay Rays money line is our full game side pick. Dean Kremer has allowed four runs in all three of his home starts, while Yanni Kyrino's career earned run average as a starter is over half a run higher than as a reliever. The weather is supposed to be sunny and in the 70s when the game begins. Both offenses are capable of hitting home runs, but also just as likely to steal their way home, hence their prolific run scoring numbers. This is a game where both offenses should get plenty of traffic, and given their track records, will likely drive those runs in. Double-digit runs seem imminent. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. New York Mets vs. Cincinnati Reds The Reds host the Mets in Game 2 of 3 on Wednesday, May 10th. Cincinnati took Game 1 by a score of 7-6 as the Reds' offense was clicking in the first half of the game. New York is 13-6 in their last 19 Wednesday games and 3-7 in their last 10 games against a team with a right-handed starter while the under is 8-2 in their last 10 Game 2 matchups. Cincinnati is 5-2 in their last 7 home games and 7-18 in their last 25 games against the National League East while the over is 8-2 in their last 10 games against a team with a losing record. Both teams have struggled in the early portion of the season, but the 
the Mets will feel some confidence coming into this game because of Justin Verlander's return. The starting pitcher will make just his second start on Wednesday. The Reds have scored the 10th fewest runs and the third fewest home runs in the league. The Mets should be able to get past the Reds in this game. So the New York Mets to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. New York went into Tuesday's action with the under holding an 18-15-2 mark this season. They are ranked tied for 18th in the majors with 4.29 runs per game on the year and that number climbs as the road team as they put up 4.5 runs per contest. Their average total entering Tuesday is 8.86 runs per contest and that climbs slightly to 9.05 runs per game away from CD Field. Cincinnati has seen the over post an 18-16 mark in their 34 games in relation to the total entering Tuesday. The Reds were 20 first in runs per game as they average 4.24 runs per game this season, though that number climbs to an even 5 runs per game as the home team this season. Cincinnati has an average total of 9.53 runs per game this season and that rockets up to an average of 11.06 runs per game at the Great American Ballpark. With the Reds' issues at keeping opponents in check at home, this game winds up past the total. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Boston Red Sox vs. Atlanta Braves The 2023 Major League Baseball season goes on Wednesday, May 10th, with the Boston Red Sox taking on the Atlanta Braves in the interleague showdown at Truist Park in Atlanta, Georgia. The Boston Red Sox are 21-16 this season and they have won eight of their last ten games. Prior to losing the first game in this series, Boston won two out of three games against the Phillies. The Boston pitching staff has a 4.97 earned run average, a 1.35 WHIP, and a .2. 161 opponent batting average this season. The Red Sox offense has scored 211 runs with a .270 batting average and a .340 on base percentage. Masataka Yoshida is batting .308 with six home runs and 24 RBIs for the Red Sox. The projected starting pitcher for Boston is Brian Bello, who is 1 to 1 with a 5.71 earned run average and a 1.73 WHIP over 17.1 innings pitched this season. The Atlanta Braves are 25 to 11 this season and they have won six of their last seven games. Atlanta won game one of this series by a score of 9-3 on Tuesday night. The Atlanta pitching staff has a 3.48 earned run average, a 1.24 WHIP, and a .238 opponent batting average. The Braves' offense has scored 197 runs with a .262 batting average and a .343 on base percentage this year. Matt Olson is batting .250 with 11 home runs and 29 RBIs for the Braves. The projected starting pitcher for Atlanta is Jared Shuster, who is 0-1 with an 8.31 earned run average and a 2.42 WHIP over 8.2 innings pitched this year. The Braves have been a solid home team all year and they should have continued success here against Bellow, who has given up more than his fair share of road homers. Along with that, the Braves have been able to extend hits for extra bases. The Atlanta bullpen has done well to limit hits and should frustrate the Red Sox here. These two teams are playing very well right now, but Atlanta has the home field advantage and they won game one in this series. Boston has had the better offensive numbers this year, but Atlanta is the better pitching team. Boston is starting Brian Bellow, who has allowed six earned runs over his last 14.2 innings. Atlanta is starting Jared Shuster, who has allowed eight earned runs over his last 8.2 innings pitched. So the Atlanta Braves money line is our full game side pick. With each of these offenses sitting top 10 in home run rate, it isn't hard to visualize how things could get away from any pitcher quickly. Bellow hasn't been as sharp on the road and the Red Sox offense has done a terrific job working taking advantage of their fifth ranked at bats per game. Expect to see runs here. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.